everybody and welcome back to Tomb Raider Tuesdays. Before we get started, I just want to quickly draw your attention to the chat right here in the corner. Um, like I said in that, I've been having some I was having some connection difficulties. Uh, so if at any point my stream stops functioning or disconnects or anything like that, uh, that would be why. Hopefully not though. Hopefully it'll be fine. Um, but we're just gonna keep going and hope for the best, you know? Anyway, uh... I can that? No, I can't. Eh, it's fine. It ain't that big a deal. Anyway, uh, other than that... <clears throat> excuse me. I wanna warn... Uh, other than that, I wanna warn you, allergies have hit me harder than, us than they usually do today. Um, so I'm doing a lot more coughing and I can... My nose is all kinds of problematic. But, um, I'm going to tough through it, you know, say la vie. Um, but I just wanted to warn you all ahead of time. And, um, but other than that, I have a Patreon. You can check out that Patreon. And, uh, you know, if you want to help, if you decide you like the cut of my jib and want to, and, or, and want to ensure that I can, uh, or you, not even ensure, but help me continue to make my content and, or even help me get better at making content. Uh, you could go and support me through my Patreon. That is that is how to how you should do that. How how the best way that could happen. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, um, other than that, again, no, just real quick caveat: not an obligation whatsoever. Uh, anyway, other than that, let us get back to. Oh wait, do I have an announcement? I guess technically this is an announcement. Uh, so last week we finished the playthrough of of everything I'm going to do on stream for Watch Dogs Legion, which is the final of the Watch Dogs games, at least for now. And as such, um, <clears throat> excuse me. As such, um. We've, we're moving on, and so next, uh, as as of tomorrow, instead of Watch Dogs Wednesdays, we are going to be having Winged Wyvern Wednesdays, where I play through the games of Spyro the Dragon for the first time ever in my life. Um, the uh, due to reasons I missed them the first time around on PlayStation One back in the day, but you know it'd be like that. So, um, I'm gonna play them for the first time on PC, on Steam, through the Spyro Reignited tr uh, trilogy or whatever it's called. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm hella excited. That'll be tomorrow. That'll be starting tomorrow, Wednesday, at 7 p.m., going until about, uh, at approximately 7 p.m. Central Time going until approximately 10 p.m. Central Time. But yeah, I'm excited. I hope you're all excited for that too. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, do I have any other announcements that I can think of? Hmm. I don't think so. Nothing that comes to mind at least. So let's, enough of my uh, enough of my bullshitting. Let's just get back into it, shall we? Hold on one second. Let me quickly mess with OBS real quick. All right. Also, now I need to go to the options and change this thingy back to that thingy so that my mouse doesn't go all across the computer screen and decide to screw me over in the middle of combat. That's fun. Anyway. Uh, hold on. Of course, of course. Now that another thing has yet to occur, yet again occurred, I have to redirect my attention elsewhere, and thus break the game. Okay. I should be back. All right. No, damn it! Not graphics display. Oh, yay! It's still working. Okay, good. All right. Croft Manor. 
or anything else goes wrong. Croft Manor. Continue story. God damn. So last time we got all the way up to, um, we got, we found, uh, we finally got to the West Wing, where Lara's mother's atelier and her, and the master bedroom were originally, before her mother died or vanished, question mark. So, we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right. We've been all the way over the up there. We found Dad's favorite painting. It's right here. There's four squares on it. Um, if I can remember how to play this game. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Um, Lara's Expedition Treasure. Favorite painting by Amelia. Day of our wedding anniversary. Okay, so this is the thing. And there's four, so that's a four. Uh, and then... Yeah, it was one, two, three, four. Uh, I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, now where was the crown? We had the crown. Oh, maybe it's over here in relics. There we go. Egyptian crown. The pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. All right, the two How birds. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Five. Egypt had a symbol and a number. I so, 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 so far. So, damn it, wrong button. Damn it, give me that back. So, so far, it is. For God's sake, memorize. The it is five, four, and then whatever the date of the, the day of their anniversary is. Alright, does anything else pop up in here as collectible or interesting? No. Alright, I'm gonna go back up here just to make sure that I didn't miss any secrets. Oh, come on. Lara. Climb the ladder, please, my dear. My dear, my dear. Alright. No secret passageways. Okay. And I believe this door is blocked. Yep, indeed it is. Oh, this was such a nice atelier, too. You know? Damn. Now to the master bedroom. I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. Into their bedroom we go. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize... I want his passion in my life, every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it. So we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the others at our side, we married as the sun set over this remarkable land. Mother will never forgive me. 
Atlas will forever resent me. But I don't care anymore. I'm free of de Mornay obligations, free to pursue my own passions and live my life surrounded by those who will encourage and challenge me. I'm excited for the future, whatever it may bring. Tomorrow, Richard and I return home to London as the Crofts, forging our path together. Marrying in Luxor was Mom's idea. I never knew. I'm lucky to have this glimpse of her so many years later. So, four days before her birthday. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know the gender, but already we've discussed possible names. Perhaps Benjamin, after my grandfather, or maybe Griffin. He was more infamous a croft than even me. No, Amelia wouldn't have it. Besides, she's certain it's a girl. She favors a, a classic such as Scarlet or Kate, though I've made some headway with Lara. A subtle nod to the sun god, the sun god Ra, and our days in oh. Egypt, where certainly this child was conceived. I find myself wow, thinking they about this new life we've created, of how much she might be like us. For all my research into myths of immortality, I may have ignored the most obvious answer to the questions that plague me. We live on through our progeny, our genes, DNA, experiences passed through the generations. Perhaps this is the simple truth of eternal life, and I've just been too stubborn to accept it. In a way, Dad found the secret of immortality and didn't even realize it, and I'm glad they went with Lara. I don't know, Scarlet Croft. Scarlet Kate Croft. Or Kate Scarlet. I don't know. I think that would have been cool. Although, if, if a boy, a Griffin Croft. <laughs> Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. On her birthday. October 13th, Mum's birthday. So we know that her birthday was four days, that they were married on the day, on four days before her birthday. So that would be 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th. 9th, October 9th. I'm pretty sure my parents were married in October. I think it was close to her birthday. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. <laughs> Mum, on her wedding day. She looks so beautiful. October. Come on. Come on, Lara. There's a date. October something. Damn, the number is faded. Could be a nine. Easily. Or a ten. The anniversary was in October. But which day? Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her. This is Dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. Oh. After everything Atlas has done, how could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard, but please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go, without me, tonight. I will take care of Atlas, and then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so 
young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. I think this was Dad's pocket watch. Hmm, looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. A beautiful watch, look at that. Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been the end of it. But I am, as God made me, a stubborn fool. I locked all the West Wing's doors, and I shall not open them again until either my life or my obstinacy comes to an end. The night before, Roth told me I would someday change my mind. Like a broken arm cast in plaster, he said. The wound would heal, and we would someday shed the bandages to be whole again. The metaphor made me furious. The clumsy way he cast our loss off as nothing more than an inconvenience. There is wisdom in his rough words, but I've done what I must. Perhaps one day, Lara will throw back the doors to let the sun shine in again. Maybe she will find her own sense of peace in this place. I know Dad couldn't deal with what happened, but it's time to open up the West Wing again. It's time to move on. At least that old thing still works. The clock she's talking about. Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. Beautiful. The inscription is faded. Eternally yours. Oh. Rich people. Also, people in love, but you know. All right, so let me look at. Do I am still missing a few things? Okay. So it's five, four, nine, I believe. There's that. That's the stairs up to the other place. The other level, I mean. As well as stairs down to the basement. Just quickly checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I missed anything in the basement, so... I should respond to the heat? No? Okay. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? 
I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important in here, and it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. If I'm right, it's 549. Okay, found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. That work. Bingo! First try. It makes me happy to know that Dad kept us safe. Oh. A plaster mold of Lara's hand, I assume. Yes, clay imprint of Chara's hand. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow, waiting for me to find her. Oh, God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done. And I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate. A test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth will fight me on this, but... I can't face Lara. I can't <clears throat> look into her eyes unless I try. I must try to bring Amelia back. The monks are preparing the elixir now, and then we will see if all my years of hunting this truth was for naught. Dad, oh no, what did you do? Dad, what did you do? Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Handwritten. This is the only copy. Damn, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, oh, there's still one piece that? of paper. Hmm, a blank page. Oh, I guarantee I know what Dad that is. must have left this for me. It has to be important. I need a source of heat. I need a source of heat. I need a source of heat. A hidden message. What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. Here we go. Maybe? Maybe. Hmm. No. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> oh, wrong button. All right. All right. All right. Uh, documents. This is a relic, actually. It's probably a relic. Blank letter revealed. Here we go. A hidden message. Okay, so that's definitely in the basement. Because there's where the chest piece is. Something about this. And then there's... Okay. Where is the... I remember I this place. now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the like actual number two. hieroglyphs. That looks like a two, and the other one, it, it looks like 12, maybe? A hidden message. Yeah. Maybe it's... No, because that's a one, that's a two. What's the weird one in the middle? Um, I remember this now. 
each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. It's got to be a four. So it's one, four, two. Okay. One, four, two. Map took me to here. Yep. Yep. Research safe. The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the records, so I'm fairly confident no word will get out about what I'm doing. I've been careless with presenting my findings, attracting all the wrong sorts of attention. Roth thinks I'm being paranoid by building this secret vault, but I know I'm being watched. My work is too important, and potentially too dangerous. It can't fall into the wrong hands. I need a secure place to keep it all safe. Dad must have seemed paranoid to Roth, but I understand why he built this vault. Bunch of rocks. Probably samples from all over the world. Notes from every expedition. A missing page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. Yep, page two. Come on. Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. Roth first scowled at my designs, then he pleaded with me not to go through with the ritual. Not because he feared it might work, but because he feared what I might do when it failed. And it has failed, there is no doubt in that. I prepared everything according to my research. When I dropped the stone into the elixir and held it to her lips, I thought for the barest moment that it had worked. The hour was midnight, and my pocket watch stopped inexplicably. There was a charge in the air like the moment before a lightning strike. For a heartbeat, I imagined that my life was being drawn from me, as one empties a glass in order to be poured back into Amelia. I would have welcomed death if the last thing I saw were her eyes, clear and alive again. But the moment passed. Amelia is still dead, and I was no Orpheus. We will return to the manor and lay her to rest. I owe her that much. Oh, Dad, part of me wishes you had succeeded. You brought her home. She's here, somewhere.
Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told <laughs> me you are heartbroken and you're not Good man, ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had damn well better. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. You ruined her reputation and poisoned her mind with a fantasy for children. In the end, you might as well have chucked the light from her with your own hands. Do not contact me again, ever. But you must make arrangements for the future of your daughter. Have you considered perhaps it would be better if you followed Amelia sooner rather than later? As Lara's legal guardian, perhaps I could erase some of the damage you've already done to the poor girl. If not, Bruh. I will do everything in my power to see to it that the Croft name is forgotten. Lara deserves better than you. So did Amelia. And so do we all. Atlas. Damn, the writers really the writers of this game really said no, we're gonna make Atlas a whole ass. And then so. Uncle Atlas won't stop until the Croft name is ruined. I have to find a way to get him out of my life. I know of one. Okay. This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. As in the dagger of Xi'an, which is the name of, well, which is the, the dagger she was going after in Tomb Raider 2. Yay, references! Okay, there's a document over here I want to read. Or listen to, actually. My love, it is silent. So peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, I can't help but still wonder at the beauty of these mountains. I understand the magic that drew you here. Please know that I feel no pain in this moment. Only immense sadness. Sadness that I couldn't see your smiling face once more. That I'll never meet the wonderful woman that our daughter will become. <laughs> there is so much to say, but I'm tired. Oh, the sun is setting. The cold of night will overwhelm me. I know I will fall asleep soon, and likely never again awaken in this world. I'm scared. Richard, what lies beyond? You know I've always struggled with faith, so I'm holding on to yours for now. I'm holding on as best I can, my love. Become the father Lara deserves. Know that I will live on in her. Can't imagine what Dad felt reading this letter from Mom. I can barely read it without bursting into tears. I hope he came to eventually see Amelia and me. Mum faced death alone. She was so brave. Might be able to use this to access other parts of the manor. He kept a crowbar in a ceremonial box of sorts. <clears throat> Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Okay. That's glowing. There's a switch there. Uh, let's see, is there anything else in here? Nope. Okay. 
There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? Alright, that's not the button I wanted to push. Amazing. Even in here, Dad went out of his way to hide his findings. freaking scribbled on the walls. Dad, so I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. I promise yeah. I'll be good Welcome and not school, disturb kid. you and just work wherever you tell me. I just miss it, Dad. And I miss you. I don't remember writing this. I do remember being bored and schooled, though. Welcome to every school ever. All right. I'm going to backtrack a bit because I know <clears throat> that there was a uh, cabinet. Oh, wrong way. Lord Croft is resolved to seal the west wing of the manor. I try to talk sense into him, but he will not be swayed. And to make matters worse, I believe his experiences in Tibet have only further fueled the fire of his obsession. He's now up at all hours in his study, researching God knows what. And poor Lara, she is so confused. Too young to understand the tragedy that has befallen this great house. My dearest hope is that Lord Croft will emerge from his grief and embrace fatherhood and the love of his daughter. But I fear he may give in to his obsessive nature, that which Lady Amelia tempered in him so well. In any case, I will be a rock for young Lara. She will never sense tragedy and sorrow in me, only the love and support she deserves. Winston was my rock. Always had a smile on his face, never letting on that something was wrong. Oh, Winston. And then little bitch decided to lock him in the freezer for all his trouble. Poor guy. All right, was there anything over here? No, all right. <clears throat> Gonna do some wandering for a second.
actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna do the wandering after I go this way. Now that I think about it. Alright, so instead of going back through the water, I'm going to open this gate again. If it will let me. Please. Please? Lara, it pads right there. Is it no longer functional? <laughs> Fine. Well, I use the actual working doorway when I can go through the hole I made. <laughs> Fucking Lara. All right, I need to figure out how to get to that. Um. That is very much something that I missed previously or couldn't get to previously or something. All right, anything over here? Holes, cracks, places to open with my crowbar. No? Okay. That's the place we came in. Which means that the glowy thing is right there. Okay. Alright. what we miss or I miss I just didn't go this way this bust of Anubis was from dad's Egyptian collection he must have put it down in the basement for our little expedition oh okay I'm gonna check in here real quick if there was anything I could open with the crowbar. I don't think there was. No. Okay. Hmm. Did this open the secret door from the inside? Hope I'm not trapped in here. Yeah. Okay, so that's what happened is the the whole thing shorted out. Love how dramatic the lighting was, you know? Like father like daughter on the drama. Okay. Up the ladder we go. Up the ladder we go. Back to the library. The library. All right. Um. This music is familiar. It's beautiful.
Okay. Just quickly making sure I didn't, I'm not missing any, uh, things. Okay, onwards we go. All right, so. It said, east was our knowledge, where the library and the office were located. South is our future, where you go out into the world. West was our... There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Respite. Our knowledge. Our West was our respite, which is where the master bedroom was and the atelier and his wife, his wife's memories. And North is our past. is to the south, our past is to the north. Let me quickly make sure that I have all the things. all of it wait is it i'm missing four relics and four documents i bet they're in the i bet they're in the crypt An oddly specific number to be four and four the undercrawl Imagine if she was just alive this down here, chained. Here all along. Imagine if Amelia was alive down here, just chained to a wall. I expected a sort of crushing finality to grip me when we returned to the manor to lay Amelia <laughs> to rest. Indeed, once the last of my funereal duties were performed, I fully believed that I would crumple to the ground next to her and expire, not from grief, but succumbing to the terrible exhaustion of the last few weeks. Instead, as the mausoleum stone slid into place, I felt a sort of peace and energy, one that I confess caught me entirely off guard. This was not the terminus of our story, and I was a fool to think so. Her body may be gone, but her spirit still resides here, in the manor, in me, in Lara. Her soul is forever twined with mine, and death is just 
a momentary interruption. I walked out of that cold quiet into a sunlight that burned my eyes, and I have never been more sure. Death is not the end, and there is work yet to do. This is where it all started, our family obsession. Well, now it's time for me to, to complete our work. Scarlet Croft. 1907 to 1973 and flights of angels sing thee to thy rest Thomas Edward Croft 18 something to 1942 68 maybe here lies Thomas Edward Croft thoughts forever in our hearts. There's more to that, but I couldn't quite make it out. Rose Croft. Today she dances with angels. From something from 18 something to 1930 something. And then at the bottom, 1732, 1788, loving memory of our loving husband and father, messed up name. <clears throat> Can't read that up top. Here lies Benjamin Croft, loved and remembered. And down here it says 1804, 18 47 I can't quite read that My god, can it be Dad, you did bring her home Yeah, but Let me get to the other side first I want to read these first Seventeen thirty-two, seventeen eighty-eight. Something 32 to 1788, 1807, 1833, lost now but loved forever. There's another one there. Can't quite read it. Eighteen oh one to eighteen seventy four, beloved by family, cherished by friends. I lived a good life. Now I have a. Now I'll have a good rest. Aww. Dearest Lara, it is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. I wonder if you will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? 
know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love. It's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices, through the love you give and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy, that you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me with all my love, your mother. Submitted some things. Wow, good time to end break. Or hmm. not end break, What's add this? break. A letter. Two days later, additional relics have become available in the manor. Two days later. Lara, I have received the notarized affidavit confirming Amelia's grave and the discovery of the burial crypt within the manor premises. While I can't fathom why your father would hide your mother's fate from her own family, I cannot deny that any legal claims I may have had on the estate are now null and void. Croft Manor and the remainder of your father's assets are now yours in perpetuity to do with as you wish. If there comes a time when you require assistance in managing the estate, I hope you will consider contacting me to retain my services. Sincerely, your uncle. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, go live on the street. Not sure about his offer. We'll see what the future brings. I've been so focused on defying my uncle, of fighting to keep his hands off this manor, that I never realized how much this place actually means to me. But since I've been here, I can feel the presence of my mother and father. I sense the entire history of my family and the deep roots we have in this place. I want to honor my parents. I want to honor all of my ancestors. The Croft family may be all but destroyed, but I will make our name and our home great again. That last line didn't a doesn't age too well, uh, unfortunately. Given modern connotations. All right, so there are four relics to find. All right. Let's see if I can find them. Aha! The broken sword I brought back from Yamatai. Nice. I love that they arted in the Hamon and the various other aspects of that are unique to a katana. The Atlas, such an amazing piece of craftsmanship. Sophia insisted I take it home with me. I mean, it's safer in your hands than there. That's three. Or two, I mean. I can still remember the last time I fired these. 
and she didn't have them in the next game. Ah! So rude. All right, so we're at 53 out of 54. We have one more relic to find. I wonder if it's down in the crypt or down in uh, the office, uh, the, not the office, the... What'd she call it? The vault. I swear my brain works sometimes. Alright. Let's check in here first. She's already done some cleaning because there's a mop bucket in here that I don't think was in here before. And also things are looking much cleaner than they did. You know? Like they're nowhere near covered in as many cobwebs and dust as they used to be. So she's been doing some cleaning at least in the master bedroom. Still a mess out here. The fact that she, well I guess it's only been two days. I was gonna say, at least the fact that she hasn't had that thing pulled the fuck out is kind of annoying. But like again, it's uh that she probably has it's been two days, so she probably hasn't had time for people to come out and assess the damage. Alright, has she done any cleaning in the atelier? Or anything? She's left the paintings where they are. Yeah, she hasn't done much in here. I would have loved if in the next game they had included a fully repaired and cleaned and, you know, perfected Croft Manor. Because that's the one thing this this trilo this uh, series of this version of Tomb Raider never got was a proper, complete and, you know, clean and functional Croft Manor. Unfortunately. And she's done, done some cleaning in here too, or at least some drying up because of all the rain. Oh man, with all the rain and how long, Lord knows how long that tree's been through that wall. I just realized they're going to have mold. Oh man, that's going to be a lot of a mess to clean up. Oh man. Like there is a like just thinking about it, there's gonna be a freak ton of work to do. <clears throat> Alright, let's go check out the crypt before we go down to the basement. <clears throat> basement. We checked the office, we checked the library, we've checked West Wing. All right, anything in here that either wasn't here before or is glowing that wasn't before? basement to the wall wait a second hold on so there's a bump there's a whole series of manor over there it 
it must only be accessible from the ground floor because there is unless there's another secret wall that a secret door that's hidden oh i bet it's right here yeah that's a door that's been knocked out or blocked up i mean <clears throat> excuse me i apologize Hmm. And there's another one. Yeah, that's absolutely where it is. Cause yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then that's pro that was probably a closet, considering how big the library is. Now I will say in in the next game we do have some flashbacks to Lara at Croft Manor. However, they don't exact the the Croft Manor we see in her flashbacks does not exactly line up well with the Croft Manor we see in this. Um, like basic. Hold on, let me go back upstairs. Um, basically, we get a couple of wings that she climbs that we play. We play as young young Lara for a bit and uh we if i remember correctly it's gotta be like she climbed she there's a she's outside playing on the grounds and then she climbs up croft manor if i'm again this is just from memory so i could be wrong it's been a while since i played the next game she cry, climbs up croft manor from the outside to go talk to her dad in his office is right here and if i remember correctly well i guess she could have climbed up on that section out there the one i was just talking about with the with the doors that are boarded up it could have been that section now that i think about it uh, uh. I do not recall, but I do recall that it involves the library or at least a section of the library. And so basically like, OK, <clears throat> looking at this, there is a whole section of Croft Manor that comes up that comes out out here and around here. And here's his office and has always been his office, because over here is the respite, the respite. Um, and over here is where they do their with their knowledge. Remember, east and west, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and uh, so like she climbs up and shimneys her way around the side of the of and across the roof of the manor and talks to him through his window or something like that. And then I also have a memory of something involving the library or a library, not necessarily this library. Um, also, we don't know what's in this room. It could be an extension to the library um, or at least used to have been an extension. Um, and. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's all just hypothesis because I don't remember for sure. And I, what I do remember doesn't quite line up with what we see in this. Because, like, it's going to have to be... Get a good view uh, out one of these windows. See see that wall th out there? It's almost like it has to be that section of, of Croft Manor. Or, like, that one or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to... What I'll probably do in my free time after we play that section is I'll probably come back in here and compare my memory. But anyway. All right, so we check the crypt. We check the library. We check the office. We check there. That just leaves the base mente. Oh, something just showed up unless it was a reflection. Yeah, that's a reflection of that light right there. Okay. Um... But yeah. Uh, basement, 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 basement. 
that's through the light through the library no uh we can we could go through the well i'll think about which way i want to go and i'll be right back don't go decided that we're gonna go through here hang over here yep Ah, she managed to force open the vault from this side. Yeah, this there she's going to end up going into debt even with her family's money. She's end up going to end up going into debt to repair this place back into fully functioning order, you know? With how much is here, how much damage there is. <coughs> Right, now that takes me to the library we're going to the library the library the library nope okay going to the vault missing something what am i missing ah something involving the ancestors okay
Oh, I forgot she put her bows up in here. She's actually started to decorate a bit. I think some of these book some of these shelves are empty that they weren't that weren't empty before. Hmm. I'm sorry you're chilly, Lara. I'm just completely drawing a blank. Where that last thing could be. Because it wasn't in the basement. Not in here. Where she had been sleeping and staying and working. Not up here. I didn't see it in here, but that doesn't mean it's not. Mother Rose, nicknamed the Golden Rose for her perfect reputation. I wonder what she would have thought of me. There we go. And I believe that it's finally 42 out of 42, 54 out of 54. There we go. All right. Well, <laughs> this concludes the storyline stuff, or at least most of it, the major hard majority of it, for Rise of the Tomb Raider. Thank you all for joining me on this. However, we're not quite done. Uh, there is a mode called the Expeditions Mode. Um, and I've not really done much with it. So we've got score attack, chapter replay, chapter replay elite. Remnant Resistance, Endurance, Cold Darkness, and Lara's Nightmare. Prophet's Tomb, Iberian Wilderness. I've done some of these, but I decided I, I was too... I was not interested in doing all of them, essentially. Um... So like, as you can see, I did some of them. Decided, screw it, you know. Uh, but uh. 
Help the remnant fight to take back the valley, create or play custom missions, compete with friends to earn credits on the remnant resistance. Uh, pass. Endurance. Search the forest for artifacts in the ultimate survival experience. Recover artifacts, find or make fires to stay warm. Gather food from plants and animals. Search enemies for new weapons. Explore ruins and crypts for artifacts. Single player. I could do it multiplayer if I had somebody who wanted to play it with me, but... Um... I might do that, but it's like a survival mode type of a thing, and... Um... <clears throat> Cold Darkness, which is one of the DLCs. Infiltrate the Soviet research base to find the source of the mysterious chemical weapon. Uh, observe your surroundings and listen to the directions to disable the machines before the toxin overwhelms the valley. <clears throat> find a way to shut down the facility for good and escape with your life. And then there's also Lara's Nightmare, um, which we'll do. Uh, we'll do... Based on time, we'll do Cold Darkness and, and Laura, La, Lara's Nightmare. Um, start with Cold Darkness first. Um, let's stick to Tomb Raider. It has taken me 30 years of adversity. <laughs> Doubts and ridicule to reach this day. It was the state who finally saw the worth in my work, saw the potential in raising up a generation of Soviet men to be something more. The first wave of test subjects, brave heroes, one and all, had to be uh, utilized. Excuse me. My. My work, I see now, would never have led to a generation of heroes as I once dreamed. I know one thing. I created a weapon to protect my homeland. For that, I am proud. All right, Lara, this is it. The chemical weapon, the infected Trinity soldiers, they're all coming from this old Soviet compound. This is the place. I've got the operations manual you dug up, so I can translate the directions to shut down the facility. If we can't shut down the machines, the toxin will drift into our valley within a day. Sophia's gonna keep us in the air, but we'll be nearby. Other than that, you're on your own down there. Poor vision, but they can definitely hear me. Shut down those towers, and then get the hell out of there. And stay safe. I'll try. Yeah, so this is basically a uh, zombie horde mode, which is so great. for the source. The toxin doesn't seem to affect women. Not yet. At any rate, I suspect it alters dihydrotestosterone production, which would explain the aggression, the rapid muscle growth, and why it affects men so quickly. Yeah, that sounds sure. <laughs>
Okay, so there's a ladder there. I think we saw a weapons cache on our last flyby. Wanna take a look? Nadia and Sophia are keeping watch from above. They will call out weapons and prisoners they find and mark them on your map. Okay. Map. All right, so there's some weapons over there. Ah, that's where the objective is. Okay. Fence. Hang on, you said you said not yet. Do you think we're at risk from the toxin after all? Possibly. It's a chemical weapon, Nadia. Right now, I'm more worried about the immediate problem at hand. No, th that makes sense. Sophia's gonna take us up a little higher. Oh, Jesus Lara, Christ. Bad news. When we shut down the towers, it's going to shunt the rest of the toxin to the central core. Which is what we expected, and we'll get it all in one place. But looking at the structural damage out here, there's no way the core is going to hold all that pressure after all these years. What's our worst case scenario? The core containment fails, and a concentrated cloud of toxin gets dispersed in the wind. As bad as it gets. Well, lovely. my map. I want to go here. You have to hurt. Remnant prisoner. Hey. Please. We're getting out of here. Just stay quiet. Understood. plan for the central core but i don't think you're gonna like it let's hear it if you do get to i, I mean when you shut down the last tower the central core won't be able to hold all that pressure it's going to fail but if you can get inside and overload the machinery all at once you'll trigger a catastrophic failure and the explosion will burn off the toxin i hope you're right i don't like it but it's all we've got God damn, what happened in this place? What do you think happened, Lara? Some not good shit. Full auto shotgun, hell yeah. Lara, there's a weapons cache near you. Figured you could use all the help you can. Our team. I'm gonna get off the radio now, Nadia. Okay, but 
think about it, we could be the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better pistol, okay. All right. All right, I'm a bit ready to go a bit ham here. So, first things first, let's go check out what this weapon is. See if it's a better rifle than the one I've got. You know what happened to them. I know you have to... <clears throat> I know you get paid by a certain amount of words, but still. Oh, will it, will it not let me... Oh, fine. Okay. Let's go around. Silencer, okay. Lucky, I am lucky. Ooh, a recurse bow. Swaps out for the makeshift, good to know. All right, now how. All right. All right, to the objective. All right. I'm outside the first of the towers now. Okay, when you enter, the airlock will shut behind you. You're going to have to find another way out once you shut down the machinery. Just explosives. Good, good, good. You know, things I totally have a lot of. Prisoner.
please. You've got to get me out of here. Stay as quiet as you can. We're getting out of here. I understand. Let's go. They don't see me yet. four major systems in the facilities. The good news is, they should be color-coded and well-marked. There's the water filtration system. They'll be colored blue, and will have a circular icon with a water drop in the center. There's the okay. fuel pump system, highly flammable, so it's going to be marked red, with a diamond-shaped icon with a flame in the center. Then, okay. there's the main biological catalyst. Those systems will be marked green with a poison warning. A square icon with a skull and crossbones. And lastly, there's a radioactive waste system. Should be painted yellow and marked with triangular radioactive warning signs. Okay. Go around the tower for pipes, a manufacturer logo, a gas tube, and fuse boxes. Tower configurations are key in finding the correct sequence of instructions to fight to shut it down. Okay. <coughs> Inputs take the form of conduits, generators, and levers. Careful. Triggering the wrong input will cause an alarm that will attract infected soldiers. All right, let's shut this place down. Here we go. Look for a large cylinder and open the safety shield. It should be full of gas and have a series of lights. Are they cycling one after another? If yes, then you should see a red lever for the fuel pump system. You need to pull that one. If not, then we need to start the generator for the water filtration system. Are the gas cylinder lights cycling? Ah, that would be the gas cylinder. Okay. I'm going to need you to read it again. Hold on, let me find it again. Here we are. Look for a large cylinder and open the safety shield. It should um, be full of gas and have a series yes. of lights. Are they cycling yes. one after another? If no. yes, then you should see a red lever for the fuel pump system. You need to pull that one. If not, then we need to start the generator for the water filtration system. Okay. We need to start the water filtration system. That's not the generator for the water filtration system. Gas. This it? That's it, Nadia. This tower's been shut down. All the remaining toxin to the central core. Once it's all in one place, we'll have to find a way to destroy it all. For now, find the exit on the roof and head back outside. Okay. You've learned how to shut down a tower and defeat the infected. Now it's time to take on the whole base and shut it down for good. Uh... I wish it would just let him just would have just let me continue. Would have oh my god.
Okay. Let's try that. Big heads for everyone. Friendship always close behind. <laughs> Okay, um... Let's, let's go with fucking Big Head. Lara. And screw it, we'll go with that one too. Why am I doing this? I should have done Lara's Nightmare. Heroes, one and all, had to be euthanized. Because we saw the tutorial, we, you know, my we don't need to beat it. All right, Lara. So, like, let me, let, let's just, because of time, for time purposes, we'll do the Lara's Nightmare now. Do ten enemies with headshots using a pistol. Kill 10 enemies with melee finishers. You get a kill streak of 8. Kill 10 enemies with a sh using a shotgun without taking any damage. Untouchable, 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 untouchable. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Grant the ancient vanguard variation of the deathless armor. Oh, wow. Screw it. Why not? Um... Big head mod. Oh, better. No, 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 no. Incompatible with, with the okay. Interesting. Okay. Bows. All right. Oh, damn it. Bows. All right. We're gonna go with not the moon shadow. Except it or not. Yeah, I don't care if this subtracts shit for me. You know?
cooler. This one first. <clears throat> Gives me to a plus five. Actually, with just the pistol and the bow, I should be good. Um, so instead of the rifle, let us look for something else. Uh oh, and the game just crashed. Fail. Oh, it crashed because I have a graphic. Graphics card update. Well, I ain't messing with it right now on stream because when I do that, it'll cause OBS to crash. It's the whole thing. So we'll just make do. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with the pistol, the, the fully upgraded pistol, the... Uh, yes. Sure. Sure. No. Can I change that? No, I don't have it anymore. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to... Definitely start with no ammunition. What? I didn't... Bad game. I did not hit start. La Fight me. Fight me. <laughs> How dare. All right, first card. Player weakening. Empty magazine. Yes, exhibit or not. No. Okay, we're good without rifles. Oh, they have the classic stuff. Angel of Darkness skin. The Chronicles cat suit. Classic Groff Banner skin. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we want...
No. No. Right? No? No. Hunter outfits. No. Explorer outfits. I'm tempted to go with the gray Henley. Because that's the one she wears at her like at her home. Or the tank top, because it's nice and chill. But I don't have the tank top master, so I think I'm going with the gray Henley. But let's see what else there is. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with the Grey Henley. Yeah. Oh, not that one. I want, uh, Explorer. Here we go. And then the final card, because I have a challenge for it, I'll throw a shotgun in there. Um, do they have a full auto? They do have a full auto. That's my preferred. So that's what we'll do. All right. <clears throat> Brings me out to a total of plus 15. Okay with that. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. I will never allow you to make this manor your home again. If okay, you fuck stay, off, Atlas. you will perish like your pathetic father, like my poor ruined sister. I will grind the croft name to dust and leave it utterly destroyed, forgotten for all time. It is too late for you. It's not what's in the letter. This is a nightmare. It, it can't be real. One. Okay. All right. A key. I need a key. I do have a silencer on this. That's good to know. Aha. Saw you.
No, I want that bad. Thing over here. Ooh, I will take that. That's new. Oh, it's not. You know, it's not. It's just, it just gave me what I already had. Okay. Fair. Hi, fella. Yeah, let's go down to the basement first. Good. Good. They have that blocked off. That was going to be hell. You will awake my rage. the break action shotgun what is the thing i need to get challenges will it tell me no oh yes it will kill streak of eight ah okay thunderball i failed and untouchable i failed okay
Oh, wow. Ooh, that was a little close. To be fair, she would have all kinds of fucking nightmares after what she's been through. You know? Oh, hello, sir. wrong button to be clear I just have to get a kill streak so I'm not exactly sure how to do that all right so we've entered the main hall In the library. A bow. I'm good on bows. I just need some arrows. That would be nice, wouldn't it? There's the one with the shield. go into the west wing hold on i have an itch okay uh let's go this way first oh oh Ooh. okay so there are some differences in, in layout
Shotgun shells, hell yeah. Confront me now. I await you. Goodbye. Get off the door, Lara. Cool. That was actually pretty fun. Hey, I got a gold star on it too. I think, I think, no, 40,000, yeah, 51,000? I think I got a gold star, maybe not. Of course, I didn't complete all the challenges. Nah, 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 nah. That was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. Ah. Okay, I'm not at 30,000 or 300,000 even.
wrong button. I didn't mean to do that. Here we go. You saw doing too. Awesome, awesome. I'm doing really well. Um, <clears throat> we finished off the uh, the main Croft Manor DLC. Picked up all the things. 100%ed that. Um, and we've just been going through some of the ex expeditions. Um, you know, for SNGs. Um. Are you a big Dune fan? It has taken me 30 years of adversity, doubt, and ridicule to reach this day. It was the state who finally saw the worth in my work, saw the potential in raising up a generation of Soviet men to be something more. All right, Lara, this is it. The chemical weapon, the infected Trinity soldiers, they're all coming from this old Soviet compound. This is the place. I've got the operations manual you dug up, so I can translate the directions to shut down the facility. If we can't shut down the machines, the toxin will drift into our valley within a day. So is gonna keep us in the air, but we'll be nearby. Other than that, you're on your own down there. Pool vision. They can definitely hear me. Shut down those towers, and then get the hell out of there. Oh my god, look at her with her I'll try. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed them, not and didn't just go for the company. I have heard that the, that Dune is really good. Uh, I've not, unfortunately, been successfully Trinity able an to. And there should be a few weapons left out there. Uh, Take a look. To actually uh, get into it, but I'm sure that's my failing. Nothing wrong with Dune itself, you know. Do you think Trinity knew thing? what they were doing when they reactivated the facility? Hard to imagine anyone would do this on right, purpose. Go ahead and get this. They must have been out here looking for the source. Five dollar popcorn day two. Oh, I'm sorry your stomach was hurting. Hopefully you feel better now. <laughs> Big head is really ridiculous. I love it. Good. I'm glad. Ooh, a prisoner. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Hi, friend. Hello. We're lucky the toxin doesn't seem to affect women. Not yet. At any rate, I suspect it alters dihydrotestosterone production, which would explain the aggression, the rapid muscle growth, and why it affects men so quickly. Yeah, that sounds sure.
Lara proceeds to <laughs> Lara proceeds to babble uh, scientific mumbo jumbo at them, and the person just like, sure. Lara, just be in Lara. He said not yet. Do you think we're at risk from the toxin after all? Possibly. It's a chemical weapon, Nadia. Right now, I'm more worried about the immediate problem at hand. No, th that makes sense. Sophia's gonna take us up a little higher. You know, it makes sense that Lara has so much no uh, knows so much. She's got such a big head after all. Hee hee hee. It's going to shunt the rest of the toxin to the central core, which is what we expected, and we'll get it all in one place. But looking at the structural damage out here, there's no way the core is going to hold all that pressure after all these years. What's our worst case scenario? The core containment fails, and a concentrated cloud of toxin gets dispersed in the wind, as bad as it gets. Yes, compound bow. Yes, please. Waiting. I think we saw a weapons cache on our last flyby. Want to take a look? Yeah, sure. Ah, it's over there. Made your dad go to Bath and Body Works after the movie. You had a coupon. Nice. Free items are always great. You gotta love it when a mall is right next to uh, when a theater is in a mall. Overall, it sounds like you had a good day today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know not. It. It's dangerous down here. I won't be able to shut them down if I'm dead. <laughs> Preemptively took the day off work tomorrow. Fair. Very fair. Clever thinking ahead. Oh boy, that's a lot. Alone. Oh crap. Laura, I count a 
Um, there's a lot of them. Headed your way. Well. Oh fuck. Still there. Okay. Would you stop with the damn grenades? Oh right, you're a subscriber. I was waiting for the I was waiting for the ads to be over so that I could so that I could respond to you. Um but then I remember you're a subscriber. Uh, can only do one social outing per day. Very fair. Very fair. Gotta make sure to take care of yourself in the process, you know? I fully am right there with you. Okay, Laura. We've got a plan for the Central Core. But I don't think you're gonna like it. Let's hear it. If you do get to... I, I mean, win... You shut down the last tower. The central core won't be able to hold all that pressure. It's going to fail. But if you can get inside and overload the machine all at once, you'll trigger a catastrophic failure, and the explosion will burn off the toxin. I hope. You're right. I don't like it, but it's all we've got. You know, for the three of us. Our team. I'm gonna get off the radio now, Nadia. Okay, but think about it. We could be the... I wanna know what she was gonna say, man. It could be the what, Nadia? <laughs> yep. The Crimson Knight Battle Chief. please. can get you out of here. I understand. Let's go. Alright. The toxin is still the I'm outside the first of the towers now. Okay. When you enter, the airlock will shut behind you. You're going to have to find another way out once you shut down the machinery. Please, you've got to get me out of here. Keep quiet. Noise will draw those things closer. I understand. Let's go. Turn around. There we go. Okay, there are four major systems in the facilities. The good news is they should be color coded and well marked. There's the water filtration system. They'll be colored blue and will have a circular icon with a water drop in the center. There's a fuel pump system, highly flammable, so it's going to be marked red with a diamond-shaped icon with a flame in the center. Then, there's the main biological catalyst. Those systems will be marked green with a poison warning, a square icon with a skull and crossbones. 
And lastly, there's a radioactive waste system. Should be painted yellow and marked with triangular radioactive warning signs. All right. <laughs> Let's shut this place down. Here we go. Look All for right. a large cylinder and open the safety shield. It should be full of gas and have a series of lights. Are they cycling one after another? If yes, then find the lever connected to the radioactive waste system and pull it. If not, then find the red conduits head. for the fuel pump system and reconnect them. Oh, big old face. All right, so gaslight ceiling, uh, cycling. No, they're not. So we've got to lower the red fuel pump conduit. Okay. That's yellow. We want red. Is it this? No, probably not. That. Okay. Big head. <laughs> hey, Yvonne. Good to see you. Glad you're still here. Well, not still here, but glad you could make it. You know what I was trying to say. English is hard. Big head with rainbows. Yep. Yep. Friendship is magic. All right. And now jump, grab, lower. That's it, Matt. This tower has been shut down. Good. Now, it's going to vent all the remaining toxin to the central core. Once it's all in one place, we'll have to find a way to destroy it all. For now, let's find the exit on the roof and head back outside. Oh, wait, what's this? I don't think I should mess with that. Okay. I need to find Rainbow Big Head. <gasps> Welcome to Tomb Raider Zombie Mode. Excuse me. Well, okay. So it's a choice I very specifically made, the big head with the rainbow. Uh, because at the start of every expedition, um, you can you have these cards that you co have collected for the because of the game and other methods. Um, that give you various bonuses or don't. Um, and basically, if I used Big Head in this, it gave me a score multiplier for the end of the game, of the end of the expedition. So, you know. I don't feel like I just went in a massive circle. Always chasing that score. Well, 
if I had realized so what if I had realized things I had learned on one of my other exp other expeditions that I did, I would not have chosen the big head and the rainbow. But you know what? Given that this is currently a zombie fucking mode, I am very much okay with the lightheartedness in it, of it. I do not have a shotgun, so I'm oh hi. Where'd he go? <laughs> he just glitched through the floor. LOL. Alright, where's he at? Do I see him? Nope, okay. Got to find those towers. Challenges currently. See? <laughs> uh, I have to rescue three more prisoners. I have to find two more of those. And I have to shut down the towers without any mistakes. Okay. Big head. <laughs> Wow, that zombie sounds just like me. Holy shit. All that coughing. <laughs> Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Hey, what's up here? Oh. You know what? Yeah. Chase it!
idea where I'm going. We need to shut down those towers. I'm working on it. <laughs> Just follow the rainbow trail. Ow, you bitch! am I? I'm going away from where I need to go. Okay. <clears throat> that is very good to know. Alright, now how get up? There it looks like. So there's a zip line there that comes from up there. I'll get up there. Ladder? No, no ladder. Get up there. Oh, I bet it's right here. Yup. Me overthinking the problem. Connect the green conduits to the biological catalyst system. If not, then we need to make sure the conduits for the water filtration system are connected. Okay, so is there at least one blue water pipe? I see a lot of blue, but do I see a water a blue water pipe? Um say yes uh so then lower the green biological catalyst conduit okay oh wait pipes there's at least one blue water yay okay now i need to find the green catalyst pipe thing uh probably that right there that works nadia it's waiting for a second input now. Wait, that could be... No, no, okay, wait, yeah. That's right. There's a second step in here. Nice catch. Okay, here we go. Look for a large cylinder and open the safety shield. It should be full of gas and have a series of lights. Are they cycling one after another? If so, find the green lever for the biological catalyst system and pull it down. If not, then we need to start the generator for the water filtration system. Okay, gas cylinder light cycling. Okay, so I need to find the gas cylinder, which is right over here. Are they cycling? No, they're steady on. Okay, so no, crank the blue water filtration generator. That's down main floor. Yep, it's there. Another tower down, Nadia. Excellent. Okay. I can see the toxin being vented into the central core. We're halfway there. Find the exit on the roof and head for the last tower. Alright, gotta get... 
Get to the roof, 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 get to the roof. Gotta get to the roof. To quote a specific movie, to quote a certain movie, get off the roof, get off the roof, get off the roof, get off the roof. Yay, rifle suppressor and laser shot. Sorry. So I need to actually get a proper rifle at some point. Maybe. All right. All right, where's the third third objective direction is that way all right so this looks like the right direction to go for that so i'ma go over here and do this <clears throat> Whee, with the rainbow thing. all right now let's see if i can't I'm gonna ignore everything unless it's directly in front of me. Oh, don't go in the water. Okay. Oh, fuck me. news is that I have a silencer on that gun now so it ain't a big as big a deal yes yes metal barriers Laura I count um there's a lot of them headed your way out of ammo for that, so. you die you son of a bitch are you headed for those towers if we can't Working shut down on the production it. of the toxin then we'll shut them down i promise Shoot, hi. Who's there? Can someone hear me? I'm not sick, I promise. Help me. I keep doing the wrong button because I've been playing other games. Oh, that didn't have a silencer. Oh, I made a mistake. Going louder than loud. Please, you've got to get me out of here. Working on it, lady. I need help. 
Come on. Stay as quiet as you can. They're getting out of here. Yes. Right behind you. All right. There we go. Hey, can you hear me? Hello. Keep quiet. Noise will draw those things closer. Thank you. Ready when you are. Laura, they're headed towards you. It looks like all of them. Looks like all of them, she says. large cylinder containing gas. You need to open it and look at the lights inside. Are they flashing all together? If so, then we have to reconnect the conduits to the water filtration system. If not, then flip the red lever on the fuel pump system. All right, we gotta find the gas cylinder. flashing no all right so what did that say if not rope pull the red fuel pump lever level lever okay well there's the ah, right there that's probably it apologize i know we're already over time but i gotta run to the bathroom and i really want to get this done so i'll be right back don't go
am back. Sorry about that. This one's gonna take more. Um, uh, just let me find the second step. Okay, here it is. I need to know where these components were made. Look for a country of origin. You should see a German flag. If so, then connect the green conduits for the biological catalyst. System. If not, oh no, wait, stop, stop, stop. Don't touch anything. Everything I just said was wrong. Laura, I was on the wrong page. Uh, hang on, we have to start over. We're looking for fuses. Red ones inside three fuse boxes. Do you see more than ten fuses? If so, then I want you to reconnect the conduits for the water filtration system. If not, then we need to power up the green generator that powers the biological catalyst system. The more than ten red fuses in the three fuse boxes. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm only there's not one here. Ah, here's one. <clears throat> there are ten. And the question is, are there more than ten? I need to find the third box to be sure. Because there's one over there. One here. I don't see any more on this level. Let's go up one. <laughs> ah, there's a fuse box. All right, let's get to that. Oh yeah, there's more than 10. All right, so if there's more than 10, then there are more than 10 fuses in the three fuse boxes. Uh, crank the green biological cal catalyst thing. Okay. I have to find the green shit. Is that up here? No, nope, that's radioactive. <laughs> All right. Red, yellow. Red, yellow, blue, green. Blue, pink, yellow, and gray. And purple, and pink. Where's green? Green, green. There it is. Crank the thing. Where is the green crank? There it is. Okay. Not yet. I made a mistake. The alarms are going to draw them in.
Nadia, right? you have the next step. I'm ready. Wait, no. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, take a look around. We're looking for pipes connected to the radioactive waste system. Do you see more than two yellow pipes? If yes, then find a lever for the radioactive waste system and give it a pull. Okay, if not, then we have to get um, the red generator for the fuel pumps powered back up. Here we go. Pipes. Pipes. Lots of pipes. All right. More than two. <clears throat> More than two. We have. Oops. Looks like one to me. There's two. All right. White, white, baby white. Yellow, red, yellow, white, white, green. So I think that's two. Are there more than two yellow, red, radioactive pipes? No. So, crank the red fuel pump generator. Okay. Well, here goes nothing, y'all. Oh, come on, Lara. Climb the damn thing. Oh, hi. <clears throat> Please be correct. One down, Nadia. What's next? Last one, Lara. We're almost done. You ready? Here it is. I need to know if there are any pipes coming from the fuel pump. They'll be painted red and marked flammable. Do you see more than two? If so, then you'll need to find a way to reconnect the conduits for the radioactive waste system. If not, then you need to find the red conduits to the fuel pump system and reconnect them. One red. So white, white, yellow, red. Yellow, white, white, green. So yeah, I'm only seeing one red, which means that I have to do what? Are there more than two fuel red fuel pump pipes? No. So lower the red fuel pump. Shoot, I pushed the button too soon. Conduit. Okay. So I have to lower the red thing. Okay. All right. That is. Right above me, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, hi. Is it got to destroy the central structure? Large capacity arrow quiver, hell yeah. All right. 
Ah, yeah, it's right. I remember how to play this game. The toxin is concentrated inside the central structure. Containment is going to fail. The core is tearing itself apart. Sabotage the machinery from the inside, and it should cause a catastrophic explosion. The fire will neutralize the rest of the toxin. It's our only shot, Laura. The shaft inside to get the hell out of there before it blows. You better be ready. We'll be there, Laura. I promise. Like below me. Hurry, Laura. We have to destroy right. the machinery before the tanks are breached. Ah. No good. Got to wait until the piston is fully exposed. Bitch, get off of me. Christ, go away. Oh my god. Damn it. It took me too long to figure out what I needed to do, and then by that time I was getting mauled. Yeah, that tracks. Alright. Since they're all coming for me anyway... Got to destroy right, those systems. Hopefully you'll sleep well, Yvonne. Good night. Oh god, this thing fires so slow. <laughs> Alive the undead on it. Where am I going? Right over here. Hurry, Laura. We have to destroy the machinery before the tanks are breached. Nah, got to destroy those pistons. You have to shut down the machinery! Get out of there! Oh, fuck, right. Oh my god! Get off! Ah, oh, damn, I can't even see him. Yeah. 
those two are good. Alright, we have one more to do. Come on, come on, come on. one word for it. Yeah, yeah, it was. You did it, Laura. You saved us. You saved everybody. <sighs> I could have done better, but honestly, between the fact that it's after, that it's almost 11, I'm almost an hour over time. I am freaking fine with it. Let's go see what we got as a gift for completing Cold Darkness. Play gift. Give me my gifts. Okay. You. Okay. Fine. Okay. Whatever. Cool. So, yeah. That was the rest of T Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, including a couple of the expedition DLCs. Um, yeah, thanks for- t I know we're over time, but I wanted to get this done. Next week we will be beginning Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is the final and most recent new Tomb Raider game. Uh, there is, uh, there is a, um, remaster that came out recently of the classic trilogy the first three games of tomb raider that are uh that i'm looking forward to getting eventually and playing um but still have not had, had a chance with that yet um but like i said before that next week we are we will be starting shadow of the tomb raider which is the final of the what termed the survivor trilogy um so yeah thanks for joining me thanks for hanging out thanks for spending the time with me as i've continued this journey um, 
Before we head out, you should absolutely check out Yvonne B, who joined us in the chat, and several other people, uh, several other friends of mine. Um, I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. And speaking of that link tree, you should absolutely check it out because that link tree is where you can find me at other places. Things like uh, I have a YouTube where you can catch all my prior streams, all the VODs, free of charge. Um, they are, I put them up a week after uh, each of my, uh, each when they, when I stream them. Uh, if you're curious, you, I also have a Discord, socials, etc. So yeah, be sure to check all that out and also my Patreon. Uh, where if you choose to help me that way, you can. It's fine. I appreciate you all no matter no matter what. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you all have a good rest of your evening. Uh, tomorrow, like I said at the top of the stream, we will be starting and playing for the first time in my life, Spyro uh, the Dragon on Wednesdays. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and we're gonna get started on that tomorrow. And so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.